Hi, this is Helena Hart, and in this video, I'm going to be answering a question I received from a woman in our community who wants to know how to get a man to want to spend more quality time with her. This is such a great question. I actually get questions like this all the time from women, so hopefully this will be helpful for you if this is something you've been wondering yourself. But before I get started, if this is your first time to my channel, be sure to click the button to subscribe to get all of my videos and information on how to attract the man you want and create an extraordinary relationship with him. So I want to start out by saying that, of course, it's absolutely fine to express to a man that it would feel great to spend some more quality time together. I'm a big fan of really direct, straightforward communication with a man, especially when you're expressing your needs and desires. I actually did a whole video on that. It's called How to Ask a Man for What You Want Without Pushing Him Away. So go check out that video if you want to learn exactly how to do that. But I've also found that when it comes to this topic, a man's own motivation for wanting to spend quality time with you all on his own is much more powerful, or at least it's very powerful in combination with you expressing that that would feel good for the two of you to spend some more quality time together. And of course, as women, we want men to want to spend time with us because they really want to, not just because they feel obligated or they're just trying to do it because we told them to, right? So. Of course, expressing that need to a man is fantastic, but when you do it in combination with these three steps I'm going to give you in this video, it's even more powerful. This will help to motivate a man to want to spend that quality time with you all on his own. So the first step is something that's a little counterintuitive, and what you want to do is actually encourage him to spend time with his friends or family or you know interests or hobbies outside of the relationship you know, apart from you. And you know, this isn't a game and it's not like a superficial strategy, but in general, men will want to come back towards you and spend that time with you when they've had time away to feel like a man, you know, when his testosterone levels build back up, when he's, you know, spending time away from you and feeling independent, like he has some freedom, even when he's in a relationship with you, that's what really inspires him to want to spend that quality time with you. When he feels like he has the freedom to do what he wants as well, right? It's not like an obligation to spend quality time with you. It's because he's going to really want to. And men typically feel that desire to want to spend time with us when they're actually away from us and missing us and doing some other things. And it's really healthy in my opinion. And you want to be having a full com uh, complete life outside of your man and your relationship as well. So that when the two of you come together, it really increases the uh, value and the quality of the time you spend together. So that's the first step. In general, you want to encourage a man to go hang out with his friends and have some guy time and engage in his interests and hobbies outside of the relationship. It's a pretty rare woman who does this. A lot of women make a man feel guilty for wanting to do those things, or they ask him, why isn't he spending that time with her? And of course, if a man is just only wanting to spend time with his friends and you know if he's only wanting to do things away from you obviously that's a major red flag i'm not telling you to just accept that behavior but in general if a man likes to spend some time with you likes to spend some time you know doing other things it's a really healthy thing and you want to be encouraging of that and doing that yourself as well that's the first step to motivating him to want to spend more quality time with you it's a little counterintuitive, but it's very, very powerful. The second thing you want to do is, you know, when he does spend that quality time with you, you want to make it really fun and work on creating really fun experiences and good feeling moments with him one moment at a time rather than using that time to talk about your relationship. And I totally understand the tendency, especially if you haven't been spending that much time with a man, when you are spending time together to want to use that time to like talk about issues in your relationship or talk about some things you've been struggling with together. Uh, and it's really important to not only do that. Of course, it's fine to talk about the relationship sometimes, but I would really use those moments 
to have a lot of fun and just create good feeling experiences with your man, you know, in addition to talking about the relationship, if you have to do that. But, you know, most men, when they hear a woman say, we need to talk or let's talk about us, or they bring up problems that, you know, you've been having in your relationship, that does not inspire a man to want to keep spending time with you. Most men dread those conversations, typically speaking, right? Uh, so, when you're together, even if you do have to talk about things like that sometimes, you wanna also make sure that you're having fun, you're experiencing the moment, and just enjoying the quality time that you spend with him. And that's what will inspire him to wanna to keep spending more and more quality time with you. And uh, that brings me to step three, and that is when you do spend that time with him, you know, afterwards, you wanna really show a lot of appreciation and let him know that you had a great time or let them know how much fun you've had. Uh, men really, uh, they crave that appreciation from their woman, like knowing that he showed her a good time or that you know he can easily make her happy and make her feel good, that it's not like an uphill battle or what he does is never enough. If you've ever felt like you've gotten into that territory with a man, it can cause a lot of damage in a relationship. So typically, you know, men gravitate towards experiences and people and situations that make them feel appreciated and they tend to avoid people and experiences where they feel incompetent as a general rule. It's a great thing to keep in mind. So if you want him to gravitate towards you and wanna spend that quality time with you, you wanna make sure you show a lot of appreciation, let him know how happy he makes you and that he makes you feel good and that you have a lot of fun with him. And that acknowledgement and appreciation is like the fuel that's gonna drive him in the relationship and really motivate him to wanna to keep spending that time with you because he's getting that reward of making his woman feel good and making her happy. So that's what I have for today on how to get a man to actually want to spend more quality time with you. I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences with this. Feel free to type those into the comment section. And if you want to discover the secrets to attracting the man you want and inspiring his love and devotion and commitment, check out my three keys to attract the man you want report and audio training. It's free on my website, helenaheartcoaching.com. I'll post a link to that in the comments and in the description of this video. I hope this was helpful for you and I will see you next time.